The Bucky series has a lot of magic stuff happening lately and the new season is not an exception. Actually, if talking about supernatural stuff, the new season is the one that is the most absurdly magical and Pickle is the main reason of it. It's a primitive man who lived in a dinosaur era and was strong enough to bear handed kill and eat giants like a T-Rex itself. So the magic happened when this creature was found frozen in a rock and brought to a lab with a totally uncrippled body after millions of years spent being frozen. And more than that, he wakes up by smelling a slice of meat. Wakes up like nothing really happened, like he is a fry from Futurama. A dude who for some reason existed 190 million years ago, when there were no human beings except him, only tasty dinosaurs. If the series already has such overpowered characters, and they are all friends, so they have no one to fight against, just bring a dude from the past, make him stronger than dinosaur, insanely big, undefeatable and of course stupid, so he will fight anyone who asks him to. And also he will understand everyone even if he does not know how to speak, because his warrior mentality will connect with the warrior mentality of his opponent and they surely will understand each other with no problem at all. He was found in the USA, but of of course he was taken from it to Japan, because the USA does not really care about mankind's treasure, which destroyed the whole army and tons of military equipment. American government easily gave such an insanely rare finding to a naked dude with a mustache, who took Pickle to Japan to fight at the arena against suicidal people, because Japan is the center of the world in the Bucky series. This dude, Pickle, is able to withstand three 9mm shots to the stomach at point blank range. I feel like the author forgot to draw a bulletproof vest on him, or his skin just merged with the rock he was in for millions of years and he became Ben Grimm from Fantastic Four. Katsumi hit him with his most powerful attack only to destroy his own arm, giving no actual damage to the caveman. Maybe after eating dinos in his era, he took some of their DNA and his skin became solid like a dinosaur Samo. Pickle is a giant humanoid who is too big even for the Bucky characters. He stands over 8 feet tall and weighs more than 400 pounds. His intelligence varies from animalistic to slightly above average. Since Pickle originally originates from the Jurassic era, he mostly relies on his primal instincts and the things he learned when he was younger, similar to an animal. But this animal somehow was able to recreate Aiki after one thing it used. How did this happen? Who knows. The author creates a character who, by his sheer stats, is undefeatable, he is taking no damage from anything and the main characters want to defeat him barehanded. Come on guys, he is bulletproof and destroys tanks by punching them. How you want to kill it by attacking such a creature with your threats like hands? It's impossible. But finally, the good thing happened in the series, the one who looks stronger defeated the one who looks weaker, and even Jax and Bucky's plot ammo that worked. Even Yujiro was scared to fight Pickle after he felt the power of this beast on himself, he was just bitching around for the whole season. This season ended with Pickle destroying every single one of the Suicide Squad, so right now he is probably running around Tokyo eating birds and other animals he found. The humankind treasure, a human which lived 190 million of years ago, is running around Japan scaring people, and the government and police do not really care about it, because in Bucky World, martial artists are the ones who make the rules. I think even if they'd unfroze a T-Rex like that, it'd also be free running around Tokyo after fighting against Suicide Boys. Pickle is such a magic creature that he has scars that seemingly appear and vanish out of nowhere for some reason. His neck has developed to be incredibly strong, which makes it extremely hard for him to have a concussion in his brain. Kayoretsu attacked the back of his head with all of his strength and it didn't even face him. And later when uh, mindlessly assaulting him, Pickle took all his blows without so much as dodging or even trying to protect himself. And remain completely unharmed. 
Jack Hanma punched his shin with all his power and while it was strong enough to send Pickle who weighs about 200 kilos flying through the air, it still did not damage him. He also ended Katsumi Orochi's attacks, including the hitless blow without even bleeding. One of the only times he was legitimately hurt was due to a direct hit to the crotch by Bucky, and even then he got up almost immediately, so even his balls are steel. Also, Pickle may be a part of the Hanma bloodline, as he used the same stance Yujiro uses and also has a final form like Yujiro's demon back, using which he becomes invulnerable. So it could be that Hanmas lived more than 190 million years ago and Pickle is Bucky's ancestor. So if the Bucky series will have a lack of uh, strong opponents, uh, the author could unfreeze more came and Hanmas which could be even stronger than Pickle. It's incredible how he can sleep out in the open like that. Most animals in the wild find a secure place to hide themselves in when they go to sleep. But he lies there like he hasn't a care in the world. Only those animals at the very top of nature's food chain can afford to sleep that way. It's the sleeping posture of kings. This dude is the most blatantly superhuman character in the entire series and he is the one who actually deals some damage to the main characters, like tears off a leg, arm or face eating it. Pickle finally brings us the real fights, which have consequences, leaving some of the fighters seriously wounded forever. Retsu now missing his leg, Katsumi his arm, Jack a part of his face. But the face is not a problem, Dopo grew up a new one after his old face was blown up. as well as Katsumi, who was burned alive. Charm my flesh. Second degree burns. What a shame. I was such a handsome devil too. Pickle's cognitive skills and perception may seem very primal at first, but are actually as complex as an average human's. And if he will be able to learn some martial arts techniques uh, and other martial arts stuff, this with all his dinosaur hunting experience would be an insanely powerful mix of fighting capability. And Pickle could be the one who will be able to compete with Yujiro, cause his strength should be somewhere near the ogre. Of course, in combat capabilities and techniques he's losing badly, but with knowledge of some martial arts stuff, how to avoid or how to use some uh, sort of martial art technique, maybe Pickle could give Yuji a good fight, but probably he'll lose anyway. Overall, Pickle solo carried this season, making the show bloody and entertaining, a good seed before the biggest fight of the series. What do you think about this character and about the season overall? Leave your comments down below. If this video was interesting to you, leave a like and subscribe for more. Thank you all for watching. For today I'm out. Bye. <laughs> we are really high up. <laughs> oh, look who's here. This is crazy. Uh oh, here comes the crew.